Hey, how you doing, everybody? So, AI, oh my God, what's going on with AI? AI is falling apart. Well, not really. If you've been following my vlog for a while, you know that I've been saying, don't worry about AI. It's not going to replace coders. It's a tool that you add to your arsenal as a developer. But it's there's a typical hype cycle with new technologies, and AI is no exception. So the people who come up with the AI, they say AI is going to change the world and it's going to order pizza and everything else is done. You got to expect that. You got to expect that. There's always hype cycles of new technology releases. Remember, remember crypto? Remember NFTs? Remember Web 3.0? How uh, this was going to transform the whole financial system and, you know, the stories. It didn't happen. It didn't happen. So same thing with AI. AI is going to have a big impact, but it's not going to be like, you know, it's not going to be what people are saying it's going to be, at least for another decade or so. I would have guessed. I don't have a crystal ball, but that's my experience tells me that. Anyway, if you were worried about coding or learning to code, as I said before, long before, long before AI replaces developers, it's going to replace uh, so many other professions. Anyway, it's so a little post here I put, hey, look, what's shaking out in the AI world? AI is not nearly as capable as they suggested. Watch my videos from months ago where I talked about the new tech hype cycle. Code long and profit, my friends. Anyway, so you have this post here by Bindu Reddy, who is a founder, CEO of an AI-based business. And she states, uh, anyone who really believed the outrageous claims that Devin was actually going to replace software engineers is too gullible and not in touch with the state of AI. This was clearly a demo that oversold the product. Sadly, Google started this trend vastly overselling Gemini. So this is from Hacker News, uh, from Y Combinator, which if you don't know, they're big uh, VCs. Debunking Devin, first AI software engineer, Upwork lie exposed. So you can go search that out yourself. It just proves what I've been saying for months now. That again, if you're worried about AI, don't be worried about AI. AI, AI is not going to replace you as a developer anytime soon. It's something to learn. It's something to uh, become aware of. Think of it as a tool that you put in your tool belt. So, you know, you got your hammer and you got your keyboard and you got your mouse and you got your AI. That's all. No big deal. I have actually, thus far, thus far, I would argue that there have been other technologies in the web de development space thus far have been far more impactful, were far more important, far more disruptive than AI. So people are looking at AI, oh my God. Now AI, AI has this luster now, if you will, this shine on it because it is infiltrating into so many different industries. You see it in graphic design, video, taking video. I talked about how cameras use AI now. Video editing, copywriting, software development, programming, et cetera. It's, so it's all over the place, robotics. So it's very, that's the word I'm looking for, it's very pervasive. But within the context of just development and web design, and web app development specifically, there have been, in my career, going back to the 90s, there have been more disruptive t technologies than AI, believe it or not, specifically in the web space. What are they? Well, for example, when the web app development went from, went from uh, Perl CGI or CCGI, went from CGI-based development where the, the view code was integrated with the, uh, the code itself in, in terms of the logic, when it moved to a page-based paradigm, I'm thinking specifically of classic ASP. It's now classic ASP. It's called classic ASP now, but at the time it was called ASP, Active Server Pages. This was a total paradigm shift in terms of the way we built web apps. And I was a very early adopter of that paradigm with classic ASP. And it literally made you 10 times more productive. At least it did for me. It was a huge hyper-productivity boost, you know? in terms of your ability to write a web app. So that's one example. I think that the move to page-centric MVC development for web apps was far more impactful than AI so far. Another big one in terms of the web is uh, content management systems. WordPress, 
is the big player, Drew Pao, Drew Mla, and Urban others. They are thus far far more impactful in terms of disrupting the web application development or the web development or web design industries by far. Yeah, I think those are two good examples. I was about to talk about inner HTML and Ajax. I think inner HTML and Ajax is another big one. Yeah, I'm going to say that. Inner HTML with Ajax, which allows you to do in-page widget rendering. So instead of having to refresh the whole page, programmers could just refresh like a part of the page, like a certain table or a certain list in the page. That to me is more disruptive thus far than AI in the web development world. I know this is a heretical. How can you say that AI is so disruptive? I think AI, rightfully so, is getting a lot of press because it's, it's, Application is very broad, whereas things like content management systems, AJAX, inner HTML, and page base rendering, or web app development with MVC, these are all very specific to web only, right? So not nearly as flashy, because it's only the nerds who see this. But I think from a, in terms of productivity, in terms of how our work shifts or has shifted, those technologies I just mentioned so far are far more impactful than AI when it comes to the web. If you disagree, comment below. All right, that's pretty much it. I'm Uncle Steph. Some people call me Steph. Actually, I should reverse it. I'm Steph. Some people call me Uncle Steph. I mentor people in the ways of software development, coding, freelancing, SaaS-based business development, and so much more. I have a very unique mentoring program. It's, it's my boot camp. Nobody has anything like it, as far as I can see anyway. It's very effective. I have total beginners in the program. About 60% of the people are total beginners. Never wrote a line of code before. And I have people all the way up to CTOs in the program. So we have expert discussions, total beginner discussions, and Q&A. People learning the basics of web design and HTML5 and CSS3 and other people were doing advanced Java application development uh, for, uh, for their own SaaS, et cetera. So it's pretty cool. Anyway, I invite you to take, check it out at unclesteph.com. Much more to come. Uh, yeah, that's it. Cheers. A uh, little thumbnail action. Thank you.